I don't usually do any of the instructional videos. There's a lot of people on YouTube doing them who are living in the Philippines. But a friend asked me to cover uh, basic electrical. And this was such a major concern for me when I was moving. I thought I would go ahead and do it. I prefer the videos of me saying, haha, I'm on vacation. And do it not. We'll try and get back on vacation soon. Um, first thing, electrical here is almost always going to be ungrounded. It's 220 volt. It is a single 220 power lead and a neutral. So it's not two 110s, which is very common in the U.S. So you can't split it off and make your own 110 circuit. If you have some 110 volt appliances, you will have to buy a transformer when you get here or bring one. They're really heavy, so if you're going to ship one, use like a ballot buying box because it's the cheapest way to ship. No weight limits. Um, let's see. Ungrounded, ridiculously unsafe. Breakers don't trip. Um, I had our water heater professionally installed. I guess professionally installed. He's supposed to be an electrician. Uh, we had a roof leak, took in a bunch of water, arcing, sparking, a little fire going in there. The breaker in the bathroom didn't trip. The breaker in the main panel in the kitchen did not trip. So, nothing trips. So, if anything catches fire, you're going to die. Uh, the electrical here is atrocious. If you know anything about electrical, don't look at it or you won't be able to sleep at night hideous. But main point, it's 220. You can't make your own 110 off of it. Nothing's grounded. It is just a single 220 lead and a neutral. Um, power fluctuations here are really bad. When your fans are running, you'll hear them speed up, slow down. Your lights will go bright and dim. And that's harder on the appliances than the power out which we also have a lot of. They call them brownouts, but you know when it goes for 20 hours, I think of it as a blackout. It's a term. It's a brownout here. Um, but that's why I've had every, almost everything I've brought with me um, has burned up. I had the little travel adapters that have the multi-plugs and it just converts it from 110 to 220, I had I think four of those. And they've all burned up. Of course, I don't think they're meant to be used 24-7. Um, but it's mostly, I think, the power fluctuation. Bouncing up and down just burns a lot of stuff up. Um, my DVD player was 110 only. Uh, it died. My computer was switchable on the back like most in the U.S. between 110 and 220. I was running at 110 because I had my, my old speakers for 110, so I just ran a transformer and had everything plugged into it. We had some power fluctuations one day, lights got super bright, lights went dim, never lost power, but my power supply on the computer blew up. That's when somebody told me to get an automatic voltage regulator. Um, it's supposed to help smooth out the power fluctuations, but here we just, I can put a meter in the outlet and we'll just watch the meter just bounce back and forth. When we say it's 220, it's, you know, 190, 250, whatever. It bounces around a lot. Um, if you've seen any pictures of the way they run electrical here, it's amazing that the power stays on as much as it does. They say they're building more power plants to provide what needed. I'm not even sure that that's a problem because they can't deliver what they have. Welcome to the Philippines. Uh, this is the transformer for my laptop. It is a dual voltage, 110 to 220. And this is the same one that came with the laptop. I've used it in the US on 110. I used it here with 220. 
one of the scariest things is when you plug this in for the first time into a 220 plug because you just know you're going to blow up your laptop. If you check the power input on here and it shows dual voltage, it's safe. Don't worry. Everything you bring over, if it's 110, will blow up eventually. Either you're going to plug it in wrong, your wife or family or friends are going to plug it in wrong, or you're going to have it plugged into a transformer and there's going to be so many power surges. But everything's got different plugs. Since it is ungrounded, you're going to need these standard three-prong, two-prong adapter. You can buy those in the States. You can buy them here. These I bought here for 32 pesos, which is just under a dollar. Um, also, what you're going to need a lot of is something like this. It's got the standard two-prong plug and this really funky shaped multi-tap to plug in various things because everything you buy here is going to have a different plug on it. Um, for example, this is my wife's cell phone charger. It's a Nikia charger. Uh, I'm not sure what country it's from, but it's got this funky shaped plug. Now this would go directly in here, but she doesn't use it that way. She uses this one. Plug that in. Then you plug this in. Then you plug it in the wall. Uh, I've tried to give her this other one to use and she doesn't want it. This works, so don't argue. It doesn't matter. This is my cell phone charger. It's uh, a great little plug. Just has the USB. Whatever you plug into it, you can charge. This is the one I used in the US. I checked it. I can't zoom in on this one, but it is dual voltage. So you can use it in the US, you can use it here. Like I said, most of your electronics are going to be dual voltage. My DVD player was not, and it died. Um, we do have brownouts all the time. So this is something my sister gave me, and I have used it a lot. You can charge it solar powered, or you can plug it in USB and charge it through the wall or through a computer but it's got the two different USB plugs and you can charge three telephones with this off one charge. When you charge this up, it takes eight or ten hours, I forget to charge it. It'll hold the charge for a year, they say, and you can charge three devices with it. It's made by Solo. When you turn it on, it flashes Five flashes means it's 100% full, four flashes is, you know, 80% whatever, and it goes on down. If it's flashing green, it's for standard devices. Press and hold it till it turns blue, and it's for Apple devices. What they do charging differently, I do not know, but it says to do that when you're charging your iPod or other Apple devices. So I do. Uh, this thing has saved my butt a lot. Um, I don't know how much they are. I think they're close to $100. I'm guessing. I forget now. One more thing on this uh, little portable. Um, something that took me a long time to figure out that's really saved my butt during a number of long blackouts. This doesn't care what it's plugged into. Now, it's not big enough to charge a laptop but it'll charge phones and such. But I have a little USB fan and it took me a long time before it clicked and it just makes sense when you think about it. Plug the USB fan into this, you have power. So when it's really hot and the power goes out, I can plug that fan into this and I've got a little fan I can carry around with me and save my fat, sweaty American ass. It's a wonderful thing. I really recommend you get one of these because you will have brownouts a lot. Okay.
the electrical in most houses well depends most of the locally built stuff they have this little plastic conduit wires run in it and this stuff's just along the wall you'll come in and you'll see this run all over the place looks terrible but it must work because every house has it now this apartment being all the cinder block um, and somewhat professionally built I suppose has the outlets actually built into the walls so we don't have any of this here this is some leftover I had from a project but like at the old house you had stuff like this run everywhere or just Romex stapled to the wall okay this is the automatic voltage regulator I bought this one at CDR King small electronic store here a lot of it's just kind of the made in China junk but they're cheap and they seem to work pretty good uh, this has four plugs on the back it's 220 volt only there is no uh, transformer to make the 110 you can buy larger ones that have it they also have some with USB ports built into them for charging you see the shape of the plug here it's got kind of the round and the straight it's a um, kind of a one size fits most because so many things here come with different plugs but like here's my TV this is bought locally you buy one adapter makes it plug in this is my PlayStation bought locally you buy one adapter to make it good. they are 220 they're just different shaped plugs depending on what country they're made for it seems that everything here in the Philippines just whatever you happen to get uh, also be careful when you buy your components here because like our uncle here bought a TV and it's 110 volt so he had to buy a big transformer to run his TV